everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my new favorite thing to do. Well, I haven't really taken you guys with me. I have once before, but my favorite thing to do is thrift. I'm gonna be taking you with me today. The agenda today is simple. Find cool shit. I don't really go in most times with looking something in particular. I will sort of share with you the method to the madness when I get there. The plan is to hit two to three thrifts all in my local area. Today is Wednesday. I'm gonna be avoiding the Salvation Army because Salvation Army is crazy on Wednesdays. They do half off clothing on that day. If you did not know, it is a good thing to know. But at my favorite thrift store that I'm gonna be taking you with, uh, taking you with me there today, um, they, it's like Senior Citizen Day today, so it gets really crazy. We're probably gonna have a mental breakdown in the parking lot, but once we're parked and we're in, that is always when I find the best stuff. I think because they get really busy on that day, so they bring out a lot of merchandise. So I'm gonna power through, hopefully find some amazing things to share with you, and just, uh, I'll do a try on at the end portion of this video, of course, because I can't try everything on. But if you are new here, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I not only buy cool things for myself, I buy cool things for you and I sell it over on uh, Depop at Decade Alchemy. That is my baby. So if you see anything you like in this video, DM me, write a comment, check out my Depop. It's possible it's already there, but uh, let's get going. I'm excited. Here, parking lot, slamming as expected, but I only had to wait a few minutes for a parking spot. So I'm about to throw this mask on. And then my first step, the first step is always shoes. Let's and go. Then, shoes. First off, um, gorgeous. Ringo. <laughs> I'm not super into black boots though. Ooh. I like these, like a chunky loafer. Who are these by? Doesn't say, but a little beat up, but definitely an option. What else we got? What else we got? There's just way too much damage on these bad, bad boys, but I think this is like a really tasteful, cool, chunky loafer to wear with like a sock. I kind of like that idea, but I'm gonna leave these behind. So far, no luck. Too funny. I was just watching Brooke kick before his video, and she grabbed this, and I was like, I want it, and I just found it here today. I, I need to cork the bottom, but it's so cute. A little bulb of garlic. I'm gonna get that for sure. So far, not a ton of luck. I'm gonna try dresses. I never have lucky dresses these days. So I'm gonna make this really, really quick. But I'm gonna try to flip this around so you can see there are a lot of options. Let's do it. This brand. 
Angie made in India rayon dresses. They're beautiful. This one is $5.99. I am going to throw it in the car. visual so I start there then I touch and then I look further and then you really can decide what it is that you want to keep okay so I went through like every aisle at this point it's getting a little too hectic it's getting a little bit annoying um, and I have not found I found one other thing since I showed you last so my camera is actually gonna die which I'm so mad about because it was fully charged when I got here um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you sort of my deciding process because for me, it's the visual, tactile, throw it in the card. And all maybes go in the cart so I can decide later. So this is the one thing I found towards the tail end. I think it's a top for a little girl now that I look at it. It's a little too wrinkly, but I kind of like how ethereal and different it was, but that I'm gonna leave. I did show you guys this top. I love this. I might wear this. I have to see if it fits me better in the chest. If not, I will sell it. This is $1.99. This dress, I love this so much. It's not gonna fit me though, so I am gonna leave it, but I think it's incredible with the low back brown sequin. I'm really attracted to brown right now. Then I also threw in this guy. I would only wear this as a dress, certainly not as a top because it is far too long. And I don't really like to have to wear all the extra undergarments, so I'm gonna leave that one as well. I have to get out of the way. So this dress, I am definitely going to get. It's by Angie, great brand. Okay price, it's six bucks, it's been cheaper, but I could sell that in the summer if I don't grab it, or if I don't keep it for me. I threw this in there. This is a little wacky. I'm not totally sold on it. I'm gonna leave this too. Anyway, I also picked up this guest cropped little cardigan. Um, this is $3.99. This is full price today, but I do think that I could sell this on Depop, so I'm gonna grab that. I've got my garlic. I'm gonna take this too. I think you put it over a tea light, at least that's how it looks, and I think that would look really pretty. And then this perfect, adorable teddy bear mug. So that's what I'm gonna get today, and I will show you guys later. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you saw when I was out, camera battery died. Very upsetting because it was like at 85%. So I'm going to go ahead and say that something's wrong with the camera battery. But I still wanted to sit down. I still hit the other thrifts. I still found a bunch of cool shit. And I wanted to share it with you. But I will put you out of your misery quick. And I'm going to share with you the things that I found that you saw. That I sort of showed you my thought process of. Which is really why I think many of us enjoy those Come Thrift With Me videos. It's like, it's overwhelming. How do you, how do you choose? And um, I hope you got a little bit of information from that. But ultimately, we just want to see what cool stuff is in store, don't we? So I will show you the three clothing items that you did see that I picked up. The first of which is, um, I really, the tag really got me on this one. It's by Anxiety. And it's this little 90s sort of peasant kind of cottage quarry, but more Y2K top. And I did try this on and I will show you as well. It's not my style at all. So I'm gonna pop this over on Depop. So if you love it, it's very cute. I like that these 90 shirts always have these ties in the back. I just think that is so ultra 
flattering. So that was a buck ninety nine. I grabbed that, and then I told you I did buy this dress from Angie, and Angie is this '90s Y2K brand. They're um, all rayon dresses made in India. They're beautiful quality. They drape on the body beautifully, and I've actually really been enjoying wearing this one. What's nice about the Angie dress is that they are cut on the bias, which means they sort of just skim over everything. So they allow you to look very shapely, but it's not skin tight. So this definitely does that. I do go ahead and add a belt if I want some extra cinching, but I did wear this like the day after. It's so comfortable. I think this pattern and colorway is very versatile as well. I did pay... I think $4.99, maybe $5.99 for it. I think totally worth it, um, and I will sell it when I'm done with it, but I'm enjoying it right now. And then the next piece that I did pick up that you all saw was this little cropped cardigan from Guess. This is very cute too. This I am gonna sell. I think this was $2.99 as well. Just ultra cropped, but a really nice cozy knit with a hood. It's actually a really nice layering piece, especially now that high-waisted items are so incredibly popular. So for clothing, that's what I picked up. Let's quickly run through the homewares and then I will end on the clothing that I did pick up off camera. I do also, I threw in one little sneaky Depop purchase as well because why not? Um, so the first thing that I was so excited about, I mentioned as I was shopping around that I love, 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 love Brooke of Kitten Couture. Check her out, she's amazing, a maximalist after my own heart and I saw her thrift this little it's a garlic powder vessel I believe mine is without a cork um I could always purchase something to do that um but this was 99 cents it's so cute I absolutely had to have it it kind of reminds me of pixie wear which if you're unfamiliar um look it up it's really cute or I'll pop up a couple images for you so I had to grab that and I found this right after I watched Brooke's video and was like I want that it was really weird and then I also found, Brooke, I hope you watch this. I don't know if you know of my existence, but if you ever do, I was also watching Brooke's video where she found this exact same mug too. And this is a vintage one hand painted by uh, Odagiri. And so I believe it's just like an 80s mug. It has a teddy bear on it. I have a thing for teddy bears. Does anyone remember my cropped teddy bear sweater? I still have it, I love it. And it's got like the etching of him here and then he's like three dimensional right there. That was a buck 99, I love it. I did also pick up this shell that actually is a vessel for a tea light. So I think this would look so beautiful illuminated. I am going to try to show you a clip of that here as well, but it's just clear. It's beautiful. I'm into the 80s does art deco thing right now. I mean, aren't we all? So I had to grab that piece. And then on the way out, you all did not see this. I found these 70s bowls and it comes with two plates and I had to have them. Look at how freaking cute that is. I almost died. I seriously looked at their little faces and I was like, I feel bad if I leave them behind. So I got these two bowls and the accommodating plates. However, the plates, um, they're much more worn. I still will use them. I still think they're really sweet. I think they're a nice size as well. Um, so I will still use them, but I really picked this up for the bowls and that was $3.99. And then I'm gonna share with you one homeware that I found elsewhere very quickly. This is, I think it's 1930s. It might be a little bit later. This is by Noritake. It's a hand-painted Japanese piece and um, it is a vanity tray. And I think I'm actually going to keep this. They don't go for a ton of money, but they are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the colors. It's aged in the most gorgeous way. And I think I'm going to use this to like sit my perfumes on or something like that. So now that we've got the homewares out of the way, that was fun while that lasted, let's talk about some pieces that I picked up when you were not with me. <laughs> so sad. First of which is my Depop find. We'll just go ahead and talk about this guy. This I had to have. I usually do not feel compelled to buy a ton of like this early vintage. Like I'll buy 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, not 90s, um, all day, but like 90s Y2K stuff, I just feel like I can always find it in the wild myself if I'm just patient. But I picked up this BB, um, it's got like just the most beautiful drape, it's got the faux fur all over, it's got the beautiful clasps. I've worn this a ton in this sherbet orange color. It's incredible. It's even got the little detail on the sleeve. I'll pop the, D, uh, the Depop seller's name up, but I think I paid like 30 bucks for that. 
and worth every penny. We got a couple cool days here and it was really fun to wear that. Speaking of cool days, I picked up this, um, this isn't vintage, but it's got that older look to it. It is a fuzzy bucket hat, so it's suede and brown fur. I have a thing with the brown right now. I know brown's very popular, but I love it. I love hats like this. I have several the bucket hat styles. I actually think it suits me, which is very nice. So I picked up this brown bucket hat cutie. This was a nice find. Again, it's not vintage, but it's just so good. I had to have it. So um, it is actually a tweed. It looks very Chanel, right? high-waisted A-line mini skirt, but it has suspenders. And I love anything that has that extra detail. I like to wear it with like a big puff sleeve blouse or something like that. But I love the idea of this even with like socks and sneakers, even though I'm not a big sneakers person, I'm trying to become one. Or even this with cowboy boots. Cowboy boots go with, go with absolutely everything. That I am certain. I do need to kind of pin these straps down. They're a little bit too loose. I would like them to be a bit more taut. But this is a new item. I am unsure from where. It is not marked, but it's really, really cute. And I did pay $4.99 for that cutie right there. I haven't worn it yet, um, but when I style it up, I will post it on the gram. Um, I've got a couple more pieces here to share. This is just a quick little one I wanted to share because I actually think these are very cute. These are Nike dry fit shorts, but like the cutest Nike dry fit shorts you ever did see. They're baby pink. They got a really cute swoosh on there. They do have a little faint mark, but these would just be, again, casual, throw on a hoodie, throw on these, go to the dollar store or the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing crazy, but I did pick those up, so I wanted to share them with you. This blouse is too cool for school. I actually got this at the Goodwill outlet, so I just wanted to throw this in here. It's 100% silk. It's by a brand called Piano. It all looks very vintage, but it says it's made in China, so it probably is not. But it is this button-down shirt with shoulder pads that is covered in what looks like antique snuff bottles, of which I actually have two behind me. So I'll show you one of the ones that I actually have. So there's like a real antique snuff bottle, and then there's the patterning on all all over the shirt. You will just never see anything like this again. I absolutely had to have it. That is a total keeper. I love that it has a lot of color going on, but it has that black base. So I actually think that'll be really easy to wear. In fact, I think it'll be really easy to dress up even with like uh, nice high-waisted trousers, a good red heel. I have like an oxblood pair that I can imagine looking really nice, a big bitchy belt and some big bitchy hoops. What else? could you ask for? Now I'm gonna share another layering piece and I'm gonna end up on a nice little fun story I got. Um, this is a vintage Judy Knapp California. I'm unsure if this is, this looks more 80s to me than 70s, but there is a 70s style about it, but it is super 80s with these, with these crazy shoulder pads that you'll see in the try-on. Um, it is this cropped um, gingham brown tweed. It's like got a lot going on. It almost is hounds to the, I don't know. It's a really cool vintage pattern. Um, and it's got the craziest strong shoulders. I did post a picture of me in this on Instagram. I wore it on Thanksgiving. It's cropped. It's got a big mother of pearl single button. I actually like to wear this as a top, but it's nice to be able to layer it and do both just a nice statement piece, but in really nice neutral colors. So I think that makes it a bit more wearable. And the final piece, I wanted to share this story because I just want to drill home, especially if you're trying to get into the resale thing, just trust your gut. That is all we've got, people. And this is one of those instances where it really paid off for me. I'm looking at the little girl section, as you do. A lot of 90s things look very small and have a lot of stretch, so they will oftentimes put them in the kids section. So I was just doing a little lap. Um, or, you know, sometimes youth larges will fit small adult women sizes, etc. So I found this set. It is these really cool high-waisted shorts, and then we have an accompanying um, cropped situation with the flare sleeve. And when I first saw this, I was like, that's cool. I was like, these actually look kind of like bike shorts. And I'm like, even if the top doesn't work, if it's too tight, I'm like, I really think that I will fit these given that they're cotton stretchy and they just have this amazing psychedelic pattern. I was almost thinking this is like a 1960s costume, you know, but a well-made one. And so I was like, you know what? Screw it. These would be really cool biker shorts, even if they're little girl shorts, who cares, whatever. Go home, put it on, 
fits like a glove. I'm like, yes, I'm glad I got it, five bucks. And there's no tag, and I'm like, what's going... Okay, I mean, yeah, that, that kind of drilled home to me that it was a costume. No, 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 no. You go in the top here. I was looking, I was just investigating. I look underneath and I see like a crinkled up and this is what I see. And I know exactly what that is. I'm like, oh, no way. This is a Betsy Johnson punk label set, okay? Betsy Johnson punk label. This is 80s Betsy Johnson. This is OG. This is amazing. And this is a keeper for now, but if I were to sell it, I could absolutely pick up a pretty penny for it. I love Betsy Johnson punk label. I have never, ever, ever found it in the wild. And I did in the kids section for $5, thinking this was a dance costume or 1960s costume, but something about it was speaking to me that it was better than that. And I didn't think it was gonna be that good, but I knew it was gonna be great. So I wanted to end up on that piece right there. But um, that is it, everyone. That is my little thrift haul. Thanks for coming along with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please know that though these are a lot of keepers pieces, I am always not shopping for myself, but also for you because I wheel and deal vintage over on Decade Alchemy at on uh, Depop. So I'm going to post that up here. You can check me out. That's a separate application. You download, you can shop all my stuff. So much good vintage. And if you watch the channel, you know you get an extra sweet special deal. So just let me know. Um, so I'm going to link all of that down below. You can follow me over on Instagram. I'll link that down below for you as well. Please give, you a, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it. Also, thumbs down. Engagement is engagement and we love to see it. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Thanks so much for all the love and support. I'm gonna take you again thrifting with me real soon with a backup battery so that does not happen again. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.